Hello and welcome to another Tuesday of tutorial. I'm trying to promote this channel and therefore I want to ask you for a favor. If so far you have been liking the tutorials and you feel you are learning something, please send them to your friends. If so far you are not liking the tutorials and you feel you are drawing worse than before, please send them to your enemies. <laughs> The important thing is that you send them to some people, and for that, I thank you in advance. Okay, let's get to work now. Today I'll draw three types of textures. The first one will be a sphere made out of concrete or a rough stone. The second one, smoother, will be like out of plastic or maybe wood. And for the last one, we have a polished metal look. To start, I draw a circle, or a series of circles, and then I'll go over the best parts to get a better one. Let's say that the light comes from the upper left. I start shading with a scribble, wiggly pattern. This is very fun and easy. I go over the areas that I want darker again and again. I make its shadow so that it doesn't look like it is up in the air. And that's it for now, that was very easy. For the second one I do the circles again, hoping I get them right. <laughs> I go over it nicely. And I start the shading, this time I want it much more even. I am using a 2B LED, which is soft and is the same one I use for the prior sphere. With a brush, I smudge the graphite and give an even tone. And then, with a harder LED, with an H, I continue the shading. I clean up with the eraser and then draw the shadow. I reinforce some of the darks and then pull some lights with a needed eraser. I don't want a sharp reflection, just a smooth light. Okay, let's go to the last one. For this last scenario of the metallic look, I will use sharp lights and very dark reflections and shadows. I sharpen the circle with the pencil and with the kneaded eraser. I trace the reflections, which of course will have the shape of the sphere, and start shading them. As I told you, these are going to be dark and they are going to contrast with the bright lights. As I go down, this dark is going to be lighter, since I want a reflected light from the bottom. I draw its shadow and then smudge with the brush. I'm trying to make it look smooth. I continue working in the same manner, with the pencil, with the brush, and with the eraser. While working on this fair, I was watching the other two, and I saw they needed more shading, so let's handle that. Still scribbling, of course. Back to the metallic one. Sometimes the kneaded eraser is not good enough to erase completely. Therefore, for really bright lights, sometimes I use the regular pencil eraser. While for smooth lights, 
the needed eraser is just perfect. I feel it is not totally giving the effect I want because it is too dark at the bottom. So I'm going to seriously lighten it up. I smudge and tone it with a brush. Observing a real sphere, I just realized the shadows I made are not correct at all. So let me handle that right now. This is a more realistic shape for them. I'll correct that in the other two also. The shadow is sharper and darker close to the sphere, and it gets softer as it pulls away of it. Okay, that's better. I'll give it the last final touches and it's ready. Here you have three different textures. If it was helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. You know where to follow me and where are the links. See you on Tuesday.